obviously, <clears throat> if you take the body, look at the body. Your body is energy system. What you have to understand, just as the universe is so complex with energy, your body is very, very complex. Imagine you have so many systems functioning together in harmony, and the system have to adapt to the environment, to change of season, to our age, to many, many things. So the way the body works is really energetic. This is really the matrix of everything. The reason that your body is so resilient and it takes a lot of damage even before this is manifest because the body has many, many pathways, energetic pathways to communicate. Okay. We have, we all know, familiar with the nervous system, we have the voluntary nervous system that makes you talk, walk, do things, but then there is automatic, autonomic nervous system that is two parts that balance each other, that runs your heart, lungs, and everything is connected in the body. That's what doctors don't realize, that anytime you take an organ, okay, for example, uterus or prostate, that they're quick to remove, those organs energetically, and also chemically, which is a result of energy, feed and support all the system and organs in your body, all the endocrine system. So when you remove them, obviously we all have tendency to certain illnesses, not others because of certain building weaknesses, which again, is usually believe in emotions. So the, the weakest organ may manifest. Okay, so when you remove an organ, and it's not really necessary, you're actually doing more damage, unless it's for life-saving, which could happen very rarely you're actually messing up the energy system and your body has less way of, of uh, functioning and making up for damage. And that's the reason that you can have 99% <clears throat> of your heart obstructed before you fall get from heart attack because the body has so many ways to make up for damage. That would happen when doctors say, oh, six months, you'll be dead and two years later the person is fine. Why? Because there is energetic ways for the body to bypass. Not only that, that Healing really it's about jump the energy. You don't have to do a lot of things, even, even diseases that are considered very serious, which really not truly are, just we believe they are, like cancer. Sometimes you do very simple things to just let, get, let go of any conflict in your life or change in nutrition, and you heal, because you help your body jump start itself energetically. So in your body you have the nervous system, but you also have meridians that move energy. from from scientific point of view, we know today that all this uh, energy point of Chinese medicine, the meridian, is actually the concentration of nerves that will, that actually you can measure with electric resistance with an instrument, but those, <coughs> those lines actually connect all the organs and part of the body and the communicate information. It's like network of, of roads in the United States. Uh, imagine what that uh, network of, of highways let us do. Let's say there is drought in Florida and the cows have no hay. So you bring the hay from Texas. So you can make up for damage, same thing in our body. And when, you ner when your nervous system and energy system, meridian system work perfectly, your body can do amazing things. In fact, you don't even have to be perfect to heal from any illness because your body has so many ways to bypass the, the, the blockage or the problems and find other ways. And if you take the body as a computer, if you take all the computers in the world, all the supercomputers, they're not, not even a fraction of, of what your body is able and capable. Now, I'm going to talk also briefly about uh, how does the energy system work in the body in nature, because most people don't understand that a very important implication. Obviously, your body is a computer. It has very, very complex uh, function to, to regulate and direct uh, all your body system from working perfectly. So, <clears throat> like any computer, the com to operate a computer, you need a hard drive memory system and you need energy. Obviously, we have energy. So, and also we need software. So, what is the software in the body? It's a DNA. And today we know that it can be changed and rewritten. Okay, literally can change. And that's another way that when you change the DNA energetically, you can heal any condition. Now, I want you to understand that everything is good for the body, works on an energetic level. So let's say if you start eating good, eliminate factors like heavy metals and other things that cause illness most people don't know, 
you automatically improve the energy. I've seen people, they don't want to work on themselves, uh, spiritually or intentionally, but just eating good nutrition and changing things that cause the body to be sick, automatically become more open-minded and willing to do things and consider things that they, they wouldn't before. Because when your body is toxic, your energy system doesn't work properly either. This is why there's absolute connection between the body and what you do to your body physically, as well, obviously, as, as your belief system. So, the most important thing in nature that nothing cannot exist is what? Water. Your body cannot exist without water. Okay? Nothing can exist. And the reason is that the water in nature is the information system. So you have the oxygen and two hydrogen, and you have an angle that can change by 88 to 108 degrees, 20 degrees, plus when the electron goes somewhere around the nucleus, there is, as, as I say, it's like many, many miles away proportionally, so any change in trajectory of the electron is change of information. And what happened to water when you crystallize it, when it freezes in nature? That's the reason that you have these beautiful, beautiful crystals, three-dimensional crystals, they're all different, snowflakes, because it's infinitesimal piece of information. Now, because your body is connected to the universe, okay, the information comes in all kinds of ways, not only, uh, you know, sunlight, but many other, other ways, and everything around us including our body, transmits information and receives information. So, the body receives the information by impressing, by changing the water. So, your body receives information all day, and the information obviously changes because uh, you don't have the same energy or information at night, day, it keeps changing gradually. And then the seasons, so everything gives us information. The information literally continuously modulates our body. Now, the information that the water gets naturally is from natural wave, all natural wave of vortex. Of course, in our environment, we have also artificial waves, which give your body different kind of information. Now, this information is sustaining, it's coming from the source, from the sound, from, from sources that sustain us, and it modulates our body and it helps our body work perfectly. Actually, we know that the information as it changes, change the, fu the function of different organs, and different organs create different um, proteins, and we know from Chinese medicine that different organs are more active in different times of day and night according to the energy, so we've been modulated all the time. We're connected to the in cosmic internet, we cannot exist without it. Now, just for your information, that subject for a different lecture, and you can see a lecture about it on my website, this all artificial frequency that we have uh, put misinformation in our body. So everybody here probably uh, aware of Emoto's work, crystallization of water. So when you take water and give it uh, into love, you'll have beautiful crystallization. Even polluted water that normally is crystallized ugly, you pray to it, it changes. Look at what it shows in this book, it's also on our website. What happens when you expose water to artificial frequencies? You create specific uh, ugly crystallization, and when we expose to negative energy, I mean, whether it's negative emotion, which also changes the water, makes it ugly, or artificial frequencies, which mean man-made man frequencies, not God-made frequencies, it. Uh, disturb the water and gives your body misinformation. So it's no different than putting corrupted files of viruses in your computer. And I'll just give you one fact, and you can you do your own research, because this kind of energy is permeating us more and more, and it affects us energetically, emotionally, mentally, and physically. I'll just give you one fact that I heard years ago, before it was such a big problem as today, but. In Germany, in 1934, the last three villages were connected to the electric grid. These villagers didn't know what cancer is, heart disease, never existed. Within a few years after connecting to the grid, they all had the same rate of cancer and heart disease like the rest of Germany. So that's something for you to explore, but the point is that natural frequencies give information to the water. Okay, and obviously, if you see a motor's work, you understand why we have negative belief, not only it creates energy field that attracts to you unpleasant things, 
but it also affects you the energetic function and, and in the end uh, or, um, chemical function of your body because everything in your body that is chemical or physiological the results of energy it's not the other way around and modern science still totally ignore that the water is very very important and the energy of the water okay so Obviously, the most important thing that we can do is work with our consciousness, with our beliefs, to change our belief, to focus on the heart, to express love, and put the intention to, to let go of all the other you know, things, our negative beliefs have been indoctrinated. The other part of, of healing is there are many, many modalities that actually help the energy flow in your body. And when you correct the energy flow, you understand now how your body just takes care of itself. So whether it's acupuncture, chiropractic, there are many, many modalities. So talking about the TKM, uh, TKM has its own way to explain how energy flows. Everything is valid. You see, you can have different uh, aspects of, of healing. For example, Ayurvedic medicine is described, the health of your body in different uh, terms and different perspectives versus Chinese medicine or Tibetan medicine is a little different. So, but all of them look at the body from the energetic, from the essence of what's going on. So the same thing, TKM. TKM, I like it because it's so simple, you can do it yourself. What I wanted to add, once you understand the whole picture of energy and how it works, is that you, when you do TKM, you can actually amplify the effect of, of the healing just by intention, just by your consciousness. And so what's important when you do that is to let go of any beliefs about the situation. You see, anything, even if with good intention, if you feel sorry you want to help somebody because you feel sorry for them, guess what kind of energy you put? Negative, Negative energy. You actually help them be where they are. So one of the most important things that uh, we can learn and, and, uh, and just put to action is step one is let go of judgment. Mm -hmm. See, what happens if you don't judge? You automatically go back. Okay, if you decide, put the intention to let go of any judgment. So whatever happening to the person is not good, bad, right, wrong. It just is. Because from a higher perspective, the reason that the person is experiencing because he needs to learn the lesson what he has done in his life that caused that. He's responsible because I wanted to emphasize that having the freedom to choose negative belief to be out of alignment is also a gift because it allows us to learn the hard way, which is also very, very efficient to go back in line. So, so actually every, every illness that we have, every difficulty, it has a great gift. And on some level, we've chosen it, okay, because on basically we're all in alignment. We just had the memory taken away when you're born, so we can learn it on the physical universe. It's a very good lesson. And ask any person that, had, that were afraid to death and had new death experience, or people that heal from cancer, against all odds, they always tell you it was the greatest gift, because they had to go out of the box to get the healing. You see, we, we all... We all were put in a box. Maybe as babies that were dependent, we were in no box, but eventually we got in the box. And any problem that you have in the box, since the universe is perfect, and you have all the tools to connect to the universe, which means you are worthy as consciousness and will, the solution is always there. But you have to get out of the box. So that's, that's also important to understand. So, uh, step one is surrendering all judgment. So in my website there is self-help project basically tells you, suggests how to do that. It's very, very simple. Then uh, step two is uh, what also you have the visualization on my website, effortless healing. You just feel, experience the feeling how it is if you feel love in your heart. Just imagine, just, and don't judge the love, don't judge the good feeling, let go of any need to justify, to explain, to understand, to figure out, you automatically experience it grows, it increases. Uh, anything that you don't resist will disappear. For example, another way uh, to, to let go, which is 
with our programming is not that easy for most people, but it's, it's, you can learn it, is to take any negative feeling that you have and release any judgment about it and just feeling it. Okay? Feeling the, whatever, the fear, the anger, with no need to explain, understand, and to judge it. If you give yourself permission to do that, you can get healed instantaneously. The, the book, The Journey, described that the lady had, it's very good reading because it also shows you another aspect of how to heal yourself. The lady had a football-sized malignant tumor and she took off six weeks and she totally healed herself within six weeks, MRI was perfect, and she felt that the main reason for that was the, the fact that she learned to experience the fear and all the emotions, con negative emotions connected with the situation is no judgment. So it's another way. So whenever you release all judgment, you make it much easier for you. And then you just get in your heart. So if you work on somebody, you let go of any judgment, okay, good, bad, right, wrong, and you just get into your heart and just project love. There's no reason. And actually, it's good if you do the work on each other, why don't you have one person work and two other people just project unconditional love. And if all three does it, do it, it'll be much more powerful. Greg Braden shows a video how three practitioners, the patient believe that it's possible, and three practitioners, Chinese practitioners, train in this mode, they just get into a space where they told the, the tumor to, to shrink because they, and actually they saw it as if it's already happened. And within two minutes, 40 seconds, the malignant tumor in the, in the bladder disappeared on, on the screen with a sonogram. So let go of any judgment, expressing love, and, and feeling as if it's already gone, it's already there. The results, the desired results are already there. When you do that, make things much easier. That's also true for prayer. If you pray for, you pray out of luck. Again, you're not aware of it consciously, but we all want things because of luck. But if you just focus on the end results, as if it happened, and feel the feeling, and project it with love, and joy, you're more likely to get much faster and better results. In potential, anybody can heal anything with this modality, even healing themselves. <coughs> We all have different load of, of, uh, of negative beliefs from this lifetime, maybe other lifetime, if you believe in that, it's all in our energy field, so that's the work that we came to do. Because if you don't take to the other side, your car or your bank account, you just get your consciousness. So that's the only really valuable thing that you come to learn and experience. And when you experience it, it's part of you. And a lot of things we don't really understand, but I believe that everything happens for a reason. Even a lot of suffering, I believe that when you go to the other side, you'll understand, and the suffering is not in vain. And what I found out, like with, I have some, over the years, some terminal cancer patient, and I always put my patient the idea of emotional, mental, spiritual healing work on whatever level they can, and help them with energetic modality that we use, natural modalities, uh, I had patients that actually the death experience was like unbelievably wonderful. Like this lady, she, she actually at one point realized that she really was ready to go and, and that's okay. And when she stopped being upset and all the family, you know, all this tragedy, she, as she was dying, she was hearing celestial music, cracking jokes, so you can hear this wonderful music. So that's really the purpose of, of that we want to focus in life. All the rest is, everything has work in place. The other thing is that you don't even have to want to be healed to be healed. If you just get your attention off, your body knows how to do. The matrix, the divine matrix or God's whatever energy is already there. I'll give you another idea. When you're in your mother's womb, you're 128 cells, they're all identical, exact DNA, okay, and it develops over nine months of this wonderful baby. So how come exactly the same cells became cells of liver, spleen, and every, each cell has different DNA because it creates different protein? What let this happen? 
the doctor had to come and give each cell prescription of medicine? No. There is a, a, this, a matrix that directed the cell, that programmed the DNA to change appropriately in a certain frame to create this wonderful body. So the same energies that did it, it's already there. It didn't go away. You're still connected with this perfection. However, and mostly with our things that are out of alignment with the universe, and if you look at all the things, it's also the lecture on my website about holistic well health, if you see all the factors that cause illness, like heavy metals, food, you find out that we do it because somebody got into the win-lose and got power out of it. Win-lose paradigm is a victim, and now we don't even realize that eating the average food, we're victimizing ourselves. But it all comes down to belief that we're victim. Whoever created inappropriate food, chemical pollution, without, you know, like I win and they lose, so what? That's the universe. But it doesn't work. So that's very important to understand. So when you go in alignment, the energy, the, the solution is there. Not only that, that, the matrix that created this wonderful day be, is still connected to you. You just chose, without realizing, well, to disconnect from this information. So when you disconnect from this information, it blocks the flow of energy that modulates your body, actually the function of every cell and every DNA to work properly. Okay? And we also know that it's been proven that you can be under stress and get all the vitamins and amino acids that you need and you still function as if you're deficient. And you can be deficient, but be happy and joyful and your body functions perf perfectly. So we can transcend the physical universe. Also, another thing is that since the, the perfection of the universe is already there anyway, since we all, as you know, transmit energy, so obviously if we have problem, we transmit our problem, we radiate our problem. This, you go to a room, everybody's angry, you feel different because... So the universe, the matrix, send us solutions all the time for every problem. But we are blocked, so we're, the more in alignment, the way I, I describe, your body ready to receive. So again, TKM is one of the most simple modalities that you basically help to reconnect with the universe. Because any healing is really about reconnection with the universe and reducing or eliminating the resistance or the blockage that we chose to have in order to learn the lesson. That's really what it's all about. The way uh, Greg Braden explained very nicely, the, all the possibilities come and go, come and go. When you align with the universe, the optimal possibility, the optimal solution, which could be even better than you imagine or hope for, okay? because potentially everything is perfect. You, you achieve healing that you didn't even hope for because you entrain this possibility, this information, and put it into the physical universe, into manifestation. So the, the possibility of, of, uh, of solution exists for everything. In fact, I believe you cannot have a problem unless there is a solution because the universe is already perfect. It's already given. You have, the gift is there. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just have to align and find out what you need to do. It's an impersonal thing because you go through feeling and feeling are unique. Each one of us is unique, but each one has to find their own way to be in the groove, as they say. But it's already there. Nobody has to give it to you. You understand? Okay. Any questions? Thank you. You're very welcome. What is the uh, website? It's drtalmor.com. Is it on your card? Yes. Yes, it's on my card. Um, I have, you can, you're welcome to join my mailing list. What I'm doing now, I have uh, internet conferences weekly, I mean monthly, and also local in the office. You can go to Meetup, sign up for free, and it gives the information. And uh, so I'm putting together step by step, and if you have this basic understanding, that's my first lecture covering more or less the subject, then you can take everything that's further that you need to know about health, and there's a lot of things that people don't know about health, fit in the right proportion and understand it better. Because I believe that even though you don't really have to believe anything I'm saying, just to try it, it still will work. But for most people, it's better to have intellectual understanding that will make sense, that will help them
get the intention and take action because you know what and why. Even though you don't really under, to understand it because you don't have to understand how the engine of the car works, how to ride the car, but you know the basic thing and then you're fine. Here's the same thing, but I find out that teaching people and realizing it really helped them to get motivated. A question. How receptive is the Gainesville medical community to Okay, so, yeah, your question, how receptive? I don't really find them receptive. Uh, mostly, it's actually very rare that they are. The most I can hope that they respect and they say, oh, I believe, I don't know what it is, it works, do it. But many don't, because to say a word for the medical community, you have to realize, I wouldn't criticize them, because if most people believe they're a victim, they need the victim solution, they need the lesson. Free choice is really very, very important. And whenever you feel sorry for somebody and want them to get better, you actually push them in the opposite direction, help them stay where they are. Yeah. So the best is if you want to help somebody, really, let's say, work on yourself, work on your belief, and let go of all the beliefs about the negative thing. Whatever is happening is perfect. It's actually a gift. And then once you release, you just send them love, you help them anyway, and they may or may not wake up, but that's the greatest gift, because you put them a little more with the love into the universe. So doctors just feel a need. I mean, you can't really blame them as long as there is need for something. It's like drugs. There's only need for drugs. They can do drug war, and it's a joke, because people get and they need to, to have this experience. However, with working with consciously, uh, appropriately, you can actually change the world amazingly. Like the, the, one square root of one percent, and all you really have to do is uh, create a group of people that will actually focus on something, be in the heart, and uh, you can bring rain when it's dry, you can bring peace, it's actually been proven scientifically, you can see his lecture. The only thing is that if you just do it and then go home and stop doing it, it will dissipate. There is a the, the, um, threshold energetic point, if enough people do it, that everything will fall in place. Uh, the, example, the good example is the fall of communism. If you told anybody six months before, six months of communism will be history. You're totally insane. But it was a threshold, then everything can open up. So it's, it's important that if you do it as a group, that just remember, remind yourself to be in this space, and I gave you some tools that you can explore or find your own way to be in your heart and let go of any judgment. The Institute of Heart Math is working on the same thing. Exactly. They actually showed in the lecture how there is an instrument that show how, because when the heart is balanced, you can actually measure it. I bought one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a biofeedback thing. Yeah, basically, because when your emotion change, your heart function change. And I actually have an instrument that I don't use anymore to, to evaluate. It's, it's actually heart rhythm. Uh, uh, yeah. Device that okay. actually analyze the variation and can extrapolate how balanced you are sympathetic, parasympathetic. Yeah. You can, yeah, but you know, it's so <coughs> obvious when you do that, just follow your feeling, follow your yeah. heart. Yeah. And yeah. if yeah. enough people do that, you can shift a lot of things. They have a global coherence initiative where they're, exactly. they're measuring it all around the earth. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is that you do it all the time. Yeah. For example, if people have like challenge they consider very serious or like or cancer, nothing's really serious, but they are because of the global belief system about cancer. What I suggest to them, get into the space, for example, listening to effortless healing, and every 10 minutes on the hour, just get back into space. Because once you know how to be in the space, you can do it when you drive, when you talk to somebody, when you talk on the phone. Yeah. And that's really the power is to use it consistently. I mean, even if you do it once a week if, with a group, it's wonderful, but it's even better if you use it for your own benefit, obviously, yeah. to do it on a regular basis and find a way to make it part of your routine. Yeah. It just makes you feel better. There's no downside to it. <laughs> no, not at all. That's all. It doesn't cost you anything unless you want to pay yourself for doing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what Reverend uh, Joe does. Yeah. Reverend Joe does with the mastermind group, the prayer. Mm -hmm. He was giving us statistics about how it affects the ours on Tuesday night. Yeah. We have nine or ten people, and how we affect so many more people. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely.
just use this principle, be in your heart, release all judgment, and just feel what it feels to feel be already gratitude. perfect. Because it, it's already perfect anyway, whether you want it or not, realize it or not, the matrix, the perfection is just waiting for you. This, you, ex, you engage it by letting go of judgment. Because whenever your mind working and you're worrying, even it, it disengages from the perfection. Wow. So it's a matter of, you know, just getting there. A friend of mine told me about uh, a man that uh, holds the audience, his name Bronco, mm -hmm. who all he does is gaze yeah. with love, and people have been experiencing such healing right. just from that. He just radiates such powerful yeah. love. And there, there are actually several people, there was a German guy, I can't remember his name, that he actually in Germany was just like Bronco, was standing there and thousands of people got healed. Eventually they put him in prison because he wasn't licensed doctors and here people get healed. Um, well, this was in Germany after the war and thousands of people got healed. But that potential is for everybody. Yeah. It's just so, the hardest thing for me to grasp, I said to Reverend Joe, is life is so uncomplicated. We complicate it so. But because that's how we've been programmed. And, and uh, we, we, with good intention, focus on the lack, and we all do that, including myself. But if somebody really bothered you, let's say politician or party, doesn't matter what affiliation you have, just release all judgment and send them love. Mm -hmm. Because if they do something that you deem not for the best, the highest good of all, if enough people do that, it'll shift them. Or they just leave and let somebody else. Uh, run the show, it will be more in line. And that's the most effective, harmless, and, and uh, easiest thing to do. And you really do it for yourself. Because it's your judgment that, you know, because they are really a reflection of us. So for, just like your life is a result of all your beliefs and subconscious, subconscious, what we have running the show is the average of all the belief system. But very small percentage of people can do miracles, and you don't have to have all the drama that you know people envision in order to change the create all kind of dramas and <laughs> it doesn't have to be that way. There's much easier ways, effortless and uh, beneficial to everybody, and smooth and nice. Again, because the universe is perfect, it's just working against us to alignment. We just have to agree to be to consent by our actions and the way we handle our awareness. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me speak.